I'm gonna show you one pick hand muting technique that's absolutely gonna elevate the sound of your strumming. So let's check this out. So you've heard this sort of thing before. Right? Uh, stuck in the middle, right? Uh, but a million different songs this has been done with. What's happening is, instead of just strumming, what we're doing is we're taking our hand and we're smacking it down on the strings, usually on beats two and four. When, when you're playing drums, the snare drum is usually on the two and the four, and the kick drum is on the one and the three. So like, one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four, right? So a great way to practice this is to do exactly what I'm doing there. Pick any chord. On two, you're gonna just take your hand and smack it down on the strings, kind of karate chopping the strings. It's kind of part of your strum, if you will, and it's part of the flow of that. So uh, it's on a down strum, and if you follow my protocols that I show you in the free courses at yourguitarstage.com, then you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about because your strumming protocol is gonna be spot on, right? So like, in, in the case of strumming, right, down strokes are on the numbers and the ands are up. So like one and two and three and four. And I'm sure you have that down already. If you don't, you'll need to check that out, okay? If we're doing this, instead of two and four where we're, where we're strumming, what we're gonna do is instead karate chop the strings. So here's the way you would practice it. One and chop. Okay, just do that one time, one and chop. And then you wanna try it a couple times in a row. One and chop, and one and chop. Now when you do this chop, what you want is the pick to be below the strings. This is really important that you do this, because if it's up here, it's gonna throw you off. Reason being is directly after our chop or our mute, we're gonna do an up strum. So it's like one and chop, and one and chop in order for you to stay in tandem with the proper strumming technique. If you don't do this, it's gonna be disaster. So do it, okay? So here we go. One and chop, all right? So make sure when you do the chop, your hand's down here, the pick's down here, and then you come back up again. One and chop, and one and chop, and one and chop. And you don't have to play this fast, but you do need to play it accurately. Now, I'll do the same thing when I'm playing fingerstyle guitar. It's basically the same idea. So in this case here, I'm just taking my thumb and the rest of my hand and smacking down, uh, which is smacking the strings against the guitar, which, as it turns out, is the, exactly the way a snare drum works, which is hit on two and four. If you ever take a snare drum and you turn it over, it's got a bunch of strings on the bottom of it so that when you hit it, it rattles up against the snare like that. This is why we do this, right? So if you do this, friends, not only is it gonna be creating this great rhythmic structure to what you're doing because you're mimicking the drums, but it's just gonna sound more interesting. So have fun with this. If you need any help with strumming or anything like this, I have the medicine for what ails you over at yourguitarsage.com. Lots of free content and courses for your friends. I'm super passionate about my students' success. So like, subscribe, comments below. I'll see you in the next video.